and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a really simple, neutral, get ready tutorial type video for you. I love to do some more elaborate makeup tutorials, but at the same time, on an everyday basis, I'm not wearing like crazy, crazy colors. And so I decided to film just kind of like a, if I'm going to do some eyeshadow, a go-to like staple look for me would be something like this. So I decided to just play around with my makeup and see where it went. I had nothing specific in mind when I started. Kind of just let it be. It turned out pretty simple, very easy to recreate. Um, and like I do mention in the like tutorial portion, I decided to put false lashes on for the look because I was going to film videos and I love the way um, videos look when I have false lashes on but that being said if it was like an everyday look like I just mentioned I wouldn't be wearing the false lashes so this is what I came up with I tried out some new products and featured them in this video so if you guys are interested in that please keep on watching so I don't really have anything planned going into this makeup look I kind of just want to play around it's not like geared towards a specific season I'm gonna start with the Naked 2 Urban Decay Basics palette I haven't like <clears throat> used this in a long time and I find this is really good if you have a palette that doesn't really have any matte neutrals to throw in the crease I find that this pairs well with any palette if you just need like a crease shade really quick so I'm gonna go in with this in the color Frisk this one here and just kind of like blend that very loosely um, and light ha with a light hand through the crease. I'm now going to come in with a smaller crease brush with the color Primal which is this very matte like chocolate brown here. I'm coming in with a smaller crease brush just to make it a little bit more precise in the application and going very much like in the outer corner of the crease and kind of doing the V shape on the outer corner. So that's gonna be it for now, at least for the Naked 2 Basics. I'm now gonna come in with this um, Makeup Forever palette. I don't remember if this was seasonal. It might have been seasonal for the holidays last year, but really, really stunning palette. Um, Makeup Forever is a lot of palettes, and I don't hear a lot of people talking about them, but I'm a big fan. Like, I really enjoy them. There's a bunch of pretty colors in here. So this one just here with a flat um, shadow brush, and I'm just going to start on the outer corner of the lid. Kind of like focus it on the center. Because it's less dark than I thought it was going to be. I'm actually going to use a little bit of Urban Decay Setting Spray um, on the brush and then dip it into that shade. I feel like I'm going to pick up a lot more of the rich pigment that I'm looking for. I'm kind of starting to wonder now if this is just this shade that I'm not enjoying or if I don't really reach for this palette because I didn't like it all that much. I remember enjoying it, but it might be because I really like the small ones, the one that has nine shadows. I mean, I really like the colors in here, but this color, this shade is not applying well at all. Like, even without, even with um, the setting spray. Like, it's so hard for me to get even on both of my eyes. I'm going to try it instead um, going in with this shadow right next to it, this one here. Yeah, see that color is a lot better, so I think it might just be that specific color that I hadn't really played with and that it's not great. I kind of didn't want to do today's look very complicated, so that's kind of going to be it. I'm just going to blend this out a little. I'm actually going to come in with, um, I'm going to go back to my Naked 2 Urban Decay Basics in the color, um, in the color Skimp and just use a little tiny bit of that below the brow bone and kind of like to blend out um, any harsh lines with that crease. I'm going to take a small angled brush and come in with that same dark color that we used um, Primal and focus that on the outer portion of the bottom lash line. That's actually going to be it for the eyeshadow for this look. I'm just going to come in with my regular NARS black eyeliner pencil <clears throat> and place that on the tight line. I 
For the sake of this video, and because I'm going to be filming videos after this, I do want to have false lashes on, so I'm going to go ahead and put false lashes. But if I were to do this look in, like, everyday life, I would just put regular mascara. I wouldn't go ahead with the false lashes. So you have the option here to do whatever you want to do. All right, so I'm back with the lashes. I haven't yet put mascara over top of them, so that's what I'm going to do now. That's just going to kind of blend my natural lashes with the false lashes. Um, oops, these ones here I put too close, I think, to the inner corner. I like the way these ones turned out better, but I'm nowhere near a professional makeup artist or lash applier. Lashes are the hardest thing for me to do, so keep that in mind. I didn't put any um, eyeliner over top of uh, the lash band, which I usually do to con kind of conceal it, but I wanted this look to be a little bit more natural, so I didn't put any eyeliner over top. So. We're just going to go with it. You can't really see the lash band. It's pretty close to the lash line. Just going with the Colossal um, by Maybelline and just applying that over top. Not too much because I don't want to make the lashes that much more dramatic. They're already pretty big, but I don't have my natural ones left that I wanted to use. But just going over the base to conceal my natural lashes. And then I'm going to put a lot of mascara on the bottom to kind of like even out the top because the top lashes are so big. That's basically it for the eyes. So that is the eye makeup done. I'm now going to come in with the Tartist Lip Paint in the color Namaste. I have like a little baby one of this and I haven't tried it yet, but the color looks quite neutral, like on the pinky side. So let's give it a go. I have no idea what I think about the formula of these, so this is kind of like a first impressions also. Okay, so the formula itself went on pretty smooth, and it's kind of like creamy, like a cream texture, more than like a liquid lipstick. I don't know how it's going to dry down, but so far, I really liked the formula. I will say I did not like the brush all that much. I find that it has no shape, and it's very big. If it was this shape, I could definitely work with it, but a little bit smaller. I don't know if it's because I don't have that big of lips, but like for me, this was too big, and it was a little bit hard to work with. It hasn't dried down yet, so I'm going to let that dry. I think it's supposed to dry down. So I'm going to let that dry for a minute, and I'll be right back. This is the finished look. So that is it for this video, you guys. I really hope that you enjoyed this makeup look. If you want to see more makeup tutorials on my plant... Uh on my panel. <laughs> if you want to see more um, makeup tutorials on my channel, please give this... I cannot talk today! Ugh! If you guys want to see more makeup tutorials on this channel, please give me a big thumbs up and let me know in a comment down below what kind of looks you would like to see next. I really, really appreciate having all of your support on this channel, so if you would like to see more videos, please don't hesitate to click the subscribe button and join my family here. I would love to have you. If you guys have a channel, definitely let me know and I'll be sure to check it out as well. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next week. Bye!